All right, let's talk about David Blog. David Blog is all oh, my life. I had to fight. David Blog, man, last two years had to fight. Sorry, Chase Daniels and now Tim Boyle for the backup quarterback position for the Lions. I thought in 2020 when Stafford went, it was 2019 when Stafford went down, that he proved enough to be the backup quarterback, right? And they continued to hold him, okay? And by playing Tim Boyle three quarters, man, and the Lions being down and not scoring a touchdown, and then David Blog instantly come in, scramble, throw the ball around, and score some touchdowns. I think that uh, I think I think David Blog separated himself from Tim Boyle by far. And if Tim Boyle is a starting quarterback, Dan Campbell, uh, Anthony Lynn, Brad Holmes is dumb as fuck. They is dumb. Excuse my language. They are dumb, 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 dumb. Okay. David Blog been the best backup quarterback the last couple seasons. Tim Boyle was trash. Chase Daniels was trash. And they wasted money on Chase Daniels. They wasted money on Chase Daniels for what? He was trash. David Blog had the Lions more competitive than Chase Daniels ever did. Let's keep it funky. Let's keep it funky. He would have them dudes way more competitive. Way more competitive, man. And David Blog deserved everything that he got. He been balling. He he been balling. Yesterday he showed why quarterback is important. He showed why quarterback is super duper important. And you notice the whole team morale changed when David Blog got in. The defense played better. The back end played better. The pass rush was better. The block was better, even though they gave up a sack. Everything was was better. The best pass that Tim Boyle made yesterday was the pass that uh, Amon Say Brown dropped for the first down. He threw him behind St. Brown, St. Uh, Brown or Amon, whatever damn name is. And, it, and people don't understand, too, is that um, when you got an erratic quarterback and he accurate and, in, and not inaccurate sometimes, that has a, a, a that has an effect on the pass catcher. When you when you got a consistently accurate quarterback, they catch more consistently. When you got an erratic uh court, why you just fart? Man, this don't fart right in front of me. Meet you one of them things they call a dog. They not for the week. But um they go sit on the couch. But like I said before, when you got somebody that's uh, consistently inaccurate. That has a, a, a impact on catching the ball, you know. And Sam Amon brought dropping that ball. That was a product of Tim Boyle not being accurate, not being on time. And it's plain to see. I don't know why where they got Tim Boyle. He hasn't took many snaps in the NFL. I don't understand why teams don't believe in David Block. If you don't like David Block, why not let him walk to the Cowboys last year? You sign him to the fifty. David Block is the answer. He better than Tim Boyd. He was better than. Uh, Chase Daniels, and this is becoming comical. Is he personally fucking somebody's wife? Do you, if you don't like him, let him walk. Let him go somewhere. I think he got starting potential in this league. I don't think he's just a career backup. I think he got starting potential. And people might say I'm crazy, but I, I see potential in him. For him not to get too many reps in 2019, it was 2019, he had, to, he had the Lions in position to win some games. Even the last game versus the Saints, he had them in position. No, but I mean, like I said before, man, he don't get the support that he deserved, man. You know, I, I man, like I said before, man, they went to go get Jared Goff. Man, I think if Jared Goff do get hurt, he can write the shit. We just, each and every rap he got better when he did play with Stafford went down. You know, they uh, he looked better. And remember, this dude was a dude that came that came out and win. And they bring in Tim Boyd. I'm like, what are they doing? Like, when they passed up on uh, Justin Herbert, I said, dude, this dude was projected to be the number. He was projected to be the number one pick. In the, the, the 2018, 20, whatever draft, the year before the 2019 draft. And you pick a cornerback? And the quarterback continues to get fucking smoked? I don't understand. He was in the 2019 draft. I don't, I don't understand the rationale 
behind that. Your quarterback Stafford was he missed an entire year with a back injury. Right? He missed an entire an entire year with a back injury. You know. And you go out and get a cornerback. Yo, John, I just football, man. To me, they make it more complex than they gotta be. They make it way more complex than it got to be. They make it way more complex. Bad football is not that complex. But if David Blog don't win this job, man, I, I think it's a vendetta against him. I think they jealous of him. I don't know what it is. I don't know who wife he didn't stuck up. I don't know who he, who, what he didn't did, who he didn't cussed out, but... My thing is, if he gonna go back to being a third string backup, let him go somewhere else and succeed. Let him go do a Chris Miller's and a Spencer did with he somewhere else. You owe him that much. You owe him that much, man. He deserved a lot better than when he been the best quarterback. He been the best quarterback. He been the best quarterback, backup quarterback on this team for the last few years. No, oh. but I mean, like I said before, man, um, this is a layup decision. And if 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 your organ or if your organization can't make, if they can't make decisions like this, don't even think about playoffs. Don't think about North uh, NFC North uh, division titles. They're incompetent. They're incompetent because if he is not that liked on the team, let him go. If it's personal, let him go. Because he clearing far, but he might be, he might be pushing Jared Goff. So, like I said before, if he got he get more reps, he he might he might got a future in the starting start. He might have a future being a starting quarterback in this league. And I don't have no biases towards him. I ain't no Purdue fan. I ain't no Melissa Gonzalez's wife fan. No offense to her, but I just think this dude can play, and I think he had he got. I think he got starter potential. I'm not saying he's going to be Peyton Manning, Matthew Stafford. I think he got potential. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. It's the best way to help the channel. I want to make a financial donation. Uh, Cash App, CJGood313. Finmo, CJGood313. PayPal, link in the description. Appreciate everybody that donates to the channel. I do appreciate it financially. But if you can't financially donate or don't want to, thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to help. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. One time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk. Peace.